When I say bananas, you say peppers. Look, what if we add a clap to it? It's a whole anthem now. Dogman is bringing us today's garb. I'm sad that clothes is not referred to as garb anymore. You remember that? Yes, I do. Oh, it's too heavy. I asked you to bring this to me so I could just get a two second reaction from you. This is an accidental Forever 21 haul. Completely didn't mean to do this today, but as I was picking up one thing, we're gonna get into that in a minute. Look at this. You're not going to believe once it, you don't even look in press. You're not you gonna know. believe. No, you don't know. It's all a USPS mail collection. It's all, it all looks like postal uniforms. Oh God. <laughs> Wait, you don't like that? It looks like postal mm. uniforms. I, no, that's, I get it. I, I can deliver mail. I get that's your jam. I get that. I can deliver mail. I love the mail. You love the mail. Well, I've never known somebody to be happier to go to the post office. I do. I know. It's me and the elderly. So what about, so I know, this is what? mine. I'm here to deliver the mail. Are you here to deliver the mail? I am also a mail person. Ship to Washington, D.C. That's my next stop. I'm going I'm nowhere. I'm a mail person. Dogman and I just filmed a video together. It's warming on me. I, I like fun. it. Like I was saying, today is going to be a spontaneous Forever 21 haul. I have not been to Forever 21 in a million years. And I'm kind of regretting that now because today I went and it looked like they had so much cute stuff. But honestly, it was a Sunday. The mall was crazy. It's the last day of spring break around here. I have not been to Forever 21 in a million years. And I'm kind of regretting that now because today I went and it looked like they had so much cute stuff. But honestly, it was a Sunday. The mall was crazy. It's the last day of spring break around here. Originally, I went there for one thing today because a Swamp family member sent me a DM on Instagram. And I just so happened to open this one because it said something like, you have got to have this thing. And I was like, what is this thing? And they showed me a picture of this shirt, which, oh my God, I know that it's literally probably for like the Easter bunny or some other kind of bunny, any, any, any bunny in the world, but it's just like rare that you ever see stuff that says bunny on it. And it was in Gothic letters. And I'm like, oh my God, I do need this. I do need this. I had actually called Forever 21 first and asked them, like I gave them the SKU and stuff. I found it online and I was so happy that they had it in my little local store right up here. So I honestly just intended to swing by the mall and pick up this shirt and leave. But on the way out, I saw these other rounders of clothes and it looks like Forever 21 now is doing, I don't know if this is like a brand new thing. I'm assuming it's not. They've probably done it with other brands before and I just haven't seen it because I haven't been there in forever. But the first thing I saw was Forever 21 did a collab with Honda and uh, I kind of want to go back and try some of these pieces on as well because they're all like, they look like little like race car driver outfits and stuff. They looked very, very cute. But then the thing that you guys already know that I saw next was like four or five rounders full of clothes of this collaboration between Forever 21 and the US Postal Service. And I think my mind just kind of like exploded. I don't know why. I have always loved the mail. I have always loved and been fascinated by the mail. I love sending mail. I love getting mail. I love everything about the mail. And I have kind of noticed that for whatever reason, don't you guys kind of feel like brands now or like wearing branded items it's kind of like a trend i think another brand just recently did a collaboration with dhl shipping service um and now here's like a usps collab i like it I love being a walking billboard. Also, uh, speaking of the mail, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about Project Blue Book, and you guys do still have time to send uh, blue things for that special mail unboxing video. I've got a whole pile of it already to open up, but if you still wanted to send like a blue collage or a blue pencil or a blue crayon, like I said, it does not have to cost 
money, it can be, you know, art or a found object or anything. Um, as long as it's blue, that's the theme of the next mail unboxing on this channel. Um, you guys do still have time to submit stuff for that. Anyway, let's look at the items because I feel like I kind of went crazy. I feel like I almost bought one of everything in this collection. I also thought it would kind of be fun to wear for like when I do Swamp Family Mail or mail unboxings on this channel. You guys may remember I used to have an entire bubble wrap costume. Some of the pieces are technically Forever 21 men's and then some of them I think are just Forever 21 women's but they're jackets. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not really a gender required here. The very first thing that really caught my attention is this all over. It's kind of like a pullover. They're all kind of this, I guess the best way would be to describe it as like a, a nylon fabric. This is a little pullover type hoodie. I don't know if they're called a hoodie when the fabric is not like a cotton you know, it just has this little zip section in the front. And I think, so this is actually like a faux pocket. I thought maybe it opened up and there was a pocket there, but there's just like space for you to put your hands in if you want. It's got these like little adjustable things so you could pull it tighter on the sides if you wanted to make it more fitted. And I kind of think that this would almost make a good raincoat as well. Like it feels like a type of fabric that would slick water off of it. I thought the print was really interesting. It looks like forms that you would fill out at the post office. It looks like receipts, uh, like tracking numbers, all kinds of labels. I don't know. I loved everything about it. So I got it. I will just say I do feel like Forever 21 has gone up in price a lot, like considerably from when I used to shop there, but it does also seem to me like the quality has gone up a little bit. Let me know if you guys feel the same. This jacket was $39.90 and I just have to show you guys this cute little hang tag that was on each piece. It looks like a miniature little envelope. I think it does actually open, uh, but it looks like a little tiny shipping envelope and I just thought that that was a Adorable. The other two jackets were the ones that Dogman and I modeled a little bit in the beginning of the video. Um, that being like this blue kind of, I don't know why I want to call this a parka. I don't think it's a parka, but once again, it does feel kind of like a plasticky, not plastic, but like, what am I trying to say? It's almost kind of like a canvas, but it does feel like it would slick water off. I'm not sure if this is kind of the same material that like actual postal worker uniforms are made out of. So it says US mail on the front. It's got like a little tracking scan label on the side. And then on the back, it has the whole postal service logo. Other than that, this one is pretty plain. I think that some of these things are reflective, which I thought would be great for like Dogman and I like to take late night walks. So I thought maybe, I don't know, this might be kind of like safe to wear. Then this side, it says for domestic and international use. And it also has a button and zip closure. So there's that. I think that this one was a little bit more expensive than the last one. Yeah, this was $44.90. I think technically the blue one is men's and this yellow one is women's. Honestly, like what is the difference with pieces like this? I just don't understand how anyone could possibly differentiate these between like men and women. You know what? I think that this is the one that is a little bit more reflective and this one has quite a few more pockets on it. So all of these little squares actually unzip and you could put like a phone or a wallet or whatever in them. Two big pockets down here, one little pocket up here. This one has some different labels on it. It's got like a shipping label um, sewn onto the side. We got the logo on the front. Um, I don't remember. So this says first class 
postal service on the little hood. Um, and then it just has a black and silver stripe on the back. This is how you know I'm so out of shape. I feel like just crawling around on the floor and standing up and down. I'm like <gasps> out of breath. I'm working on it though, you guys. I've taken only 9,000 steps today. I feel like I'm slacking. I only really feel like I'm doing good if I get like 12,000 or more steps. I don't know technically what the number of steps is that you're supposed to be getting in a day. Like this sets my target or the target was set automatically to get 2,000 steps a day. But another Fitbit I had was recommending that I get 10,000 steps in a day. So I'm like, which is it? 2,000, 10,000, Big difference there. This jacket was, I don't remember how much this one was, and I don't see a price tag on it anymore. It has this little tag, but I don't see the price tag. I think it was like roughly the same price as the blue one. I think it was around $40. I don't see the receipt either, so. I have no helpful information on that whatsoever. So my only complaint was I wish that they would have made some short sleeve shirts for this collection, but not crop tops. I feel like that's the reason, one of the main reasons that I stopped shopping at Forever 21 in the first place is because all of their stuff is mostly crop top and it's still like that. I feel like unfortunately crop top is the trend that just will not die. I'm like, I want a whole shirt, a whole shirt, like not just like a fourth of a shirt. I do tend to get really annoyed about that because I'm like, not everyone in the world wants to wear a crop top, right? Or am I the only one? They had tube tops, which I'm just like, Ugh, um, worse than a crop top is a tube top. So they had a couple different tube tops and then the rest were crop tops. And then they had this one shirt, which was just too cute to pass up. So it has a little USPS delivery truck on the front and then the back is plain. Um, and at first I was like, oh, I'll just get this and like cut the sleeves off. But it actually has like a really cute um, slogan down the side with a couple little pins stripes and it says we deliver for you so it has that on either side oh no never mind this just says once again uh united states postal service it has their little logo on it um which i thought was very very cute i mostly just liked it for the truck on the front and this was 1990 then the next thing that i got Honestly, probably, I don't know. I, I need to wear this stuff fast this year because you guys, Texas is already getting pretty hot. It's actually cooler at home than it was when we were in Austin because it was in the high 70s, maybe even the low 80s there. Um, I came home, I had a sunburn. I feel like you can still see my face is a little bit red. So I need to wear these clothes fast because I still feel like these are very winterized items and it is very rapidly already becoming summer here in Texas. The next two things I got were two pairs of sweatpants and I believe technically this white pair was women's and the next pair I'm going to show you guys is men's. These are pretty plain compa compared to the rest of the collection. These just have the Express logo on the bottom, but I feel like always when it's actually cold weather here, I'm like desperately looking for cute sweatpants. And normally the only brand that I ever think like sometimes Dolls Kill has cute sweatpants, but mostly even the sweatpants I get there are for, um, from a brand called Wild Fox. And I love their stuff, but honestly, they are so expensive, you guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, it'll be a $100 for a cute pair of sweatpants, which I justify buying them sometimes because I honestly do end up wearing them so much, especially their Halloween collection. But just like on a normal basis, I wish I could just find cute sweatpants that didn't cost an arm and a leg. This was the other pair. So like I said, the the white pair is technically women's and this or the orange and this yellow pair is technically men's, which once again, doesn't really matter except for sizing. First class, you know, States Postal Service. I love this yellow color and I also love how um, these have a little, what are these called? Scan? 
I heard that technically this technology kind of failed. You guys let me know because I feel like I still see it everywhere. Is it a QR? Is that what I'm trying to think of? Last couple of items. They had these as well, which I thought were super cute. They're like biker style shorts. Once again, pretty simplistic logo here. They just have the priority logo on them. Nice stretchy cotton. Um, I just thought that these would be great year round for me honestly the last thing i got was this belt which i don't know i was kind of on the fence about like they had some blue um the fabric was very similar to this jacket which this type of fabric is escaping me uh, but they had a pair of blue pants over there because you guys know how forever 21 and like other stores they will like kind of group similar items together or items that they feel would kind of make an outfit even if they're not all part of the same collection um and so honestly I thought about getting those if they had had belt loops because um I did go ahead and grab this belt which I do feel like it's trying to be a very like off-white style belt it definitely is like longer than you know, most webbed belts are. It's meant to, you know, go around your waist or where, wherever you're wearing a belt and have like a long tail. So like I was saying, I was gonna get those blue pants because I thought it could make a cute outfit with this belt, but those pants also had like a stretchy waistband and did not have belt loops. So that was kind of the only thing that I wish that they had um, had over there in a similar color or something that would have gone with this collection that you could have easily styled the belt with. Did that whole thing I just said make any sense? Basically all of the pieces, like they had a belt for the collection, but they didn't really have any bottoms as part of the collection or suggested with the collection that would require a belt. That was a mouthful and a half so you guys are gonna have to let me know down below i think i was maybe just having a double sentimental moment because i was looking through my old forever 21 hauls the other day for a declutter diaries video that i am currently working on editing and i was talking about a piece that i had bought there that i thought was part of a haul or an outfit of the day so i was like trying to go through all these old videos uh and find like the clip to show you guys from that original video a million years ago so far, I have not had any success with that, but I think it made me a little bit sentimental about Forever 21, and then I got that direct message, and I just, I don't know, I felt like going, but you guys have to let me know, is Forever 21 kind of still, like, a really popular store? Like, I don't know kind of what's going on there. I don't know if, like, I'm just not watching those videos anymore, or if people just don't generally upload hauls to YouTube anymore, but, like, back in the day, I feel like everybody was, like, Forever 21 haul, like, all the time. You guys have to let me know what y'all think about the collection. I'm sorry if you don't like this. There wasn't, like, that much variety here of, like, other pieces and stuff, but I don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank y'all so much for being here and for watching. If you're not already, hit the button down below. Uh, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. Uh, let me know what y'all think of the pieces. Let me know what you guys think about the consistent crop top epidemic. I want to know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions down below as usual. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!